Dave right. loves wearing Speedos. I love wearing board shorts. You know, both of us with our shirts off, you know, buddy cop film, he'll be grumpy and I'll be charming. Boom, it sells itself, bro. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments that made us love Jason Momoa. Island nations contribute the least to this disaster, but are made to suffer the weight of its consequences. For this list, we're looking at the most notable times this actor and renaissance man made us smile and swoon. What's your favorite Momoa moment? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, when he made us laugh on SNL. Gladys Feldman is suing her former live-in nurse, Apollo Benz, for stolen cash. Aquaman wasn't a humorous film, and Khal Drogo definitely wasn't the comic relief on Game of Thrones. So most people probably didn't know that Momoa is actually pretty funny. That changed in 2019 during his cameo appearance on Saturday Night Live in a skit called First Impressions Court. Now listen, your hombre. I see the way you're looking at me right now. And I know what you're thinking. He's absolutely hilarious in this segment and can barely get through it without breaking a few times himself, which we love. I'm also a certified paraplegia, legal. Coincidentally, that's also the perfect word to describe how we felt when he ripped open his fur coat, revealing his bare chest. Sir, do you have this woman's earrings too? Wait, these? <laughs> if they were a gift. Needless to say, Momoa's got a lot of range. Number nine, when he started a canned water business. I feel like it's my responsibility, it's my mission to clean up the oceans, clean up the land, for my kids, for yours, for the world. Jason Momoa plus sustainability is a combo that's almost too hot to handle. But we applaud him for his attempt to rid the world of single-use plastics. In 2019, he started a company called Mananalu. Instead of plastic bottles, his water comes to you in aluminum cans. It's the future, aluminum, for a plastic-free environment. We gotta save our oceans, we gotta save our landfills. Aluminum's the answer. As the company's website aptly explains, plastic is often discarded, but aluminum isn't. Importantly, the cans are largely crafted with recycled metal. And when you responsibly dispose of them, you can feel confident they'll be repurposed, as 75% of aluminum finds new life. But the actor's ecological pursuits don't stop there. At home, Jason has incorporated things like shampoo bars into his routine. So if you thought you couldn't love him more, think again. Mananalu. 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 Number eight, when he told James Corden what he travels with. I read, tell me if this is true, when you go away on location, you bring an insane amount of gear. Those are your words, not mine. Filming a movie can take a long time, and it can mean that actors are away from home for months on end, so they have to pack accordingly. While on The Late Late Show, Jason Momoa confirmed that he takes a lot of stuff with him when he travels for work. What sort of stuff do you take to make it feel like you're at home even when you're not? I mean, I bring everything. I got, uh, you know, I bring motorcycles, cars, drums, guitars, bass, cameras. This includes things we would have never predicted, like motorcycles and drums. But it's what he told James Corden next that made our hearts melt. Jewelry, I bring posters, I bring my kids' paintings. Like, I love having all my baby stuff, so I bring all their kind of stuff that makes me happy. It's just this because I miss home. In addition to everything else he packs, Momoa makes sure to have some of his kids' paintings and toys on hand because they bring him joy. It's his way of staying connected to home. Number seven, when he played Ozzy Osbourne. In a video for GQ magazine where he broke down his travel essentials, Jason Momoa revealed that music is super important to him. In fact, he takes record players and hundreds of vinyls with him whenever he's away from home. He even showed off his Master of Reality album by Black Sabbath. I love vinyl and I travel with record players. So I have a record player that's in my trailer when we get ready in the morning. But he's not just a fan of Ozzy Osbourne, he also got to play him. The actor was cast as the Prince of Darkness in the video for Scary Little Green Men, a song off Osbourne's Ordinary Man album. The video itself is cool enough, but getting to see how much fun Momoa had behind the scenes is priceless. Or like big Captain Jack Sparrow, show him mine. Okay. 
Apparently there's some fancy art to do with the forte. Number six, when we learned about his fluffy pink sock. And Absolutely. all the stuff with him seemed yeah. quite dark and brutal. Yes. But but apparently there was some levity involved. He wasn't that There was. Bad. He's, a, he's a funny man. Although they typically look very intense on screen, filming graphic scenes can actually be quite weird for both parties involved. After all, it's completely manufactured. So how did Jason Momoa try to counter the awkwardness during a Game of Thrones scene between Daenerys and Drogo? Well, his approach was rather unique. He decided to put on a singular fluffy pink sock. So he decided to, for one of the scenes which was on his back and my face, he decided to uh, not use a modesty sock, but use a, a beautiful pink fluffy sock. Why not wear the pair, you ask? Well, let's just say the garment wasn't for his feet. Honestly, his scene partner Amelia Clark explained how it all went down better than we ever could. It's huge and it's pink and I don't know what to do. <laughs> Number five, when he bought Lenny Kravitz a ring. First of all, it's a it's a it's a privilege to 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 have that. I see that so many people um, are really um, intrigued by, especially the relationship that I have with Jason. In 1985, Lisa Bonet met Lenny Kravitz. They got married in 1987 and divorced in 93. Bonet and Momoa started dating in 2005 and tied the knot in 2017. So those who watch a lot of television might have expected the men to get into a screaming match or physical altercation. But there were no immature fits of jealousy here. The two actually get along to the point of calling each other brother. Momoa even gifted Kravitz a ring as a token of his appreciation for the latter's support during his first SNL hosting gig. They all appear to be one big happy family, which is touching to see. That's the way to be, man. Number four, when he tried to make Conan O'Brien feel better about his flat butt. Build arms like this. Whoa. Fantastic. <laughs> Cover. <laughs> Are you okay, Betty? I'm, I'm getting better. One of the many things we love about Mr. Momoa is his big heart. He always tries to make other people feel good, which is a pretty remarkable quality. Well, maybe uh, you'd like to see him. I was on the cover, too. I don't know if you saw this, but check it out. Appearing on Conan O'Brien's talk show, he gave the host a not-suitable-for-work reason to embrace his flat butt. Uh, well, you know what the God says. If he gives you a flat ass, he's going to give you a big old it was an off-the-cuff moment, but the actor proved he's not afraid of a little rowdy humor. Watching him sweetly comfort a shocked Betty White following his censored statement was just the cherry on top. Of course, he also cited Conan's intelligence, humor, and wealth as reasons not to worry too much about his derriere. You're funny, you're smart, you're rich. You got a flat ass, it's fine, man. Number three, when we saw this amazing fan photo. Hey man, how's it going? There's nothing worse than admiring an actor only to find out they're not a good person in real life. After all, the way celebrities deal with respectful fans on the regular is arguably a good indication of who they are. Oh my God, I love you. Can you take our picture? And yet again, Jason Momoa does not disappoint. The woman who posted this viral fan photo online said she wanted a solo picture with Momoa, but her husband was not keen on the idea. This was the compromise. She later clarified that the pose was a joke and her husband's idea, and Momoa was down to play along. He even obliged with a clever signature placement at the man's request. It sounds like he took the whole thing in stride. I don't know anyone, anything. Number two, when he told the UN to do better. Today I stand before you as a singular representative of all island nations. I am honored to represent those who continue to fight as stewards of this planet. As you now know, Jason Momoa has taken a stance against single-use plastics through his water company. But the Aquaman star's love for the environment runs deeper than that. With a foothold in two worlds, I quickly began to see how a problem for one will soon become a problem for all. He's also not afraid to call out those in power to demand action. In 2019, he had some harsh words for the United Nations at a meeting on small island developing states. He certainly did not hold back, calling humans, quote, a disease infecting our planet. And he didn't let the leaders off the hook either. We can no longer afford the luxury of half-assing it as we willingly force ourselves beyond the threshold of no return. His passion and desire to fight for the planet's long-term well-being is palpable and super contagious. This is for all of us. Aloha. Kukiai Mona! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. 
If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, when he called his wife an angel. My love. There's no doubt that Jason Momoa and his wife Lisa Bonet have a beautiful relationship. And sure, the fact that he is married makes us a little sad, but we can't help but admire him for the loving way in which he talks about his family. In a 2014 interview, the star showered Bonet with some well-deserved compliments, calling her his dream woman and an angel. During that same appearance, he discussed working with her on Road to Paloma. We did it. We did it. Both. Both. We couldn't help but swoon when he described the effect she had on him on set. While you might think that nothing could phase a guy like Momoa, Bonet had him feeling timid. Sounds like a plan. I need a drink. Let's have a drink first. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.